So surfing to me is a really peaceful place. It's about being in nature. It's about doing something I love. And so it was really an inspiration behind some of this work. Dr. Laura Ryan and Professor Nathan Hart have just published the results of a six-year shark study that could see a revolution in surfboard design. So what we've been trying to do is understand how sharks see their prey and with an understanding of that, see if we can create some shark deterrents which protect people and also sharks. We've been doing a lot of testing in Mossel Bay in South Africa, which is where they have quite a high concentration of white sharks. There's an island there called Seal Island, so the sharks are there to, to hunt the seals, and it's a great place to do this kind of testing. So what we've been doing is driving a boat and pulling behind that boat a seal-shaped foam decoy and seeing how the sharks respond to that decoy. And what we found out is that if you put lights on the bottom of the decoys, the sharks leave them alone. And so we think this tells us a lot about how sharks see the world and how they detect and target their prey. But it also potentially gives us an insight into how we can develop a, a non-lethal shark deterrent, especially for surfers. The types of lights that we put on the bottom of the decoy is quite specific in terms of the patterning we place the LEDs in and also the brightness of the LED. What we're tapping into here is a phenomenon that's quite well known in the ocean called counter-illumination. And this is where animals that live, especially in midwater, put out light from the underside of their body. And in doing so, they break up their silhouette to a predator that's looking at them from below. And so we've extended that idea to something on the surface of the water. And we've shown that these lights break up the, the silhouette of the surfboard into smaller pieces. And that's clearly something that the shark doesn't recognize as its prey. It's sort of like an invisibility cloak, but with the exception that we're splitting the object, the visual silhouette, up into smaller bits. So it doesn't all disappear, and in fact the lights need to be fairly bright to have this effect. So it's a complex interaction with the shark's behaviour. The lights have to be a certain pattern, a certain brightness, and so it's quite critical that these lights are deployed in the right way. And so if you don't get this right, uh, it might not have the effect that you're after. It's always a possibility that any stimulus that you put in the water might attract a shark. So with our careful testing, what we've done is to find the optimal brightness which basically works like a counter-illumination device, breaks up the silhouette of the board and seems to deter the sharks from approaching. So some of my work on the visual system of sharks was looking at how much detail they can see and how good they are at detecting an object. And some of the previous research within my group also found out that sharks are potentially colorblind. So they don't see color like we do. They also don't see as much detail as we do, so their acuity is a lot lower than ours. So they're really good at detecting an object from far away, but not so good at seeing the fine detail of that object. So what we're trying to do now is move from sealed decoys into a surfboard prototype by embedding LEDs into the bottom of a surfboard. Shark attacks are fortunately very rare but it's obviously a risk that people accept when they go in the ocean. And what we don't want to see is people getting hurt and we don't want to see sharks getting killed as a result of that. So we're very hopeful that this technology, along with others, can be used to reduce the risk of, of getting a shark bite and so make it safer for people to go in the water.